Man Gun 2. What a mess. Boy, this guy looks intense. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool arcade repair video for you today. Joey, where did you get this thing? Some guy's barn. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> Some guy's barn. He had a several games, cut us a good deal on them. Joe went and picked them up. Now this is a run and gun two. And when we first thought it, we thought it was the dedicated four player run and gun two. And it looks very similar to the dedicated four player run and gun two, but it's not quite. It's a uh, converted cyber ball. The dedicated run and gun 2 looks almost identical to this, but it's just slightly different. So tell them what you've done so far, Joe. It's pretty rough. This thing looks like it's falling apart. Why would you restore? It's a you know it's a game that you don't even see that much. Run and gun 2. Why would you? Uh, why are you fixing that up? Well, we're either gonna fix it or we're gonna throw it in the garbage. Which one do you want me to do? I think we fix it. Look, people, we fix even the the ugly ones. All right. And this is actually a really fun game. It'll clean up pretty good. It'll look pretty nice whenever we're done. Um, the main thing is it has a huge sign that goes on the top of it. So that will, uh, that's going to change it. This is another one of the ones that was in that same group. Pretty rough. All right, so it's a, it's a cyber ball, but we're going to leave it a run and gun too because they've already, you know, they did a pretty good job with the kit. And if you look up uh, the flyer picture, or there's a picture of the, the dedicated Run and Gun 2 floating around, um, which, by the way, is a basketball game, obviously. Um, it looks very similar. Here, I'll show you the flyer. So as you can see, it's actually uh, similar to this, but it's not quite the same. So how do we know it's a cyber ball? Well, we kind of figured it out just by looking at it, but then if you look on the back, that says CYB0244, I believe. Something like that. So it's the 244th cyber ball, 2070. Is it Cyberball 2032? What's that? What's it called? I can't remember the, the full name. But all the Cyberball stuff is gone. Um, and since they did such a clean kit, well, by clean, I mean it's got all the art and all of that. <laughs> um, we're going we're gonna to leave it a run and gun, too. So run and gun, too, was one of the games that actually had could use two monitors and four players could play at the same time. Uh, it's a really fun basketball game. Some people would say that it's better than NBA Jam. Now, I know you may not agree. What do you think, Joe? I don't know. I think that's stretching it there. Joe says that's stretching it. Some people, though, I'm not saying me. Some people think it's better than NBA Jam because you can play five players at a time. and you, Your team has five uh, people on it instead of two. Um, so, But we'll see. So we're going to fix it up. And uh, the first thing that Joe did was he took, uh, you know, he's vacuuming it out, just trying to clean it up a little bit, and he took the control panels off. 
they've completely destroyed it. It looks like they remade the control panels to be wider or something. I don't know. I don't think that's the original Cyberball control panels. But, um, yeah. So we're straightening it up. Took all the old T-molding off. We're going to clean it, get her working well, and then we'll play it. So this is what it starts. That's what it looks like uh, as we're starting. So Joe has been working on it a little more. He's got it cleaned up pretty good. And he put orange tea molding on it. It looks pretty good. You know, it's a basketball game, folks. What else would you put on it but orange tea molding? Now, it's not going to be perfect because yeah, it's kind of the wrong control panels, right? But it's a fairly clean little conversion kit. So I think we've got a lot of potential here. I think this is going to turn out pretty nice. Um, still have to put the control panels on and then of course fix the whole thing. So here are the control panels. The kit came with, you know, kind of like a wood grain thing that looks like a basketball court. And then uh, it's up to four players. Of course we'll fix the joystick. Um, you got a one player and then an A, B, and C for each. I mean a start button and an A, B, and C for each player. And four players can play at the same time on this cabinet. So. I think we're uh, I think we're working with something here. This is going to be pretty nice. Oh, and by the way, I didn't mention earlier. We've got the whole sign for the top. We just haven't fixed it yet. It needs a little uh, cosmetic and a little structural work. But we will get that back on there, which will just top it off. There ain't no latches. <laughs> you can't get your hand in there physically. Joey said you can't get your hand in there physically to latch the control panels on. So it's because they're the wrong control panels, basically. You know, they kitted it. Mm -hmm. so. I didn't do that. I'm working with what I got here. Boy, that looked pretty good though, Joe. That's a decent little setup there. I like it. So now we're working up on the top. Joey's trying to get the speakers right. Game board is up and running. Of course we got it in the window here. You can't see it very good. So we've got this whole sign here that somebody broke off of the thing. So we're going to put it all back together and get it looking good again. He rebuilt both of the monitors. Put them up and doing their thing. So This game was so cool because it's got so many cool dunks and stuff you can do and it's not like NBA Jam which you know by the way great game but it, it uh it had more of uh like realistic stuff and had alley oops the alley oop alone makes it a cool game okay on to the sign all right folks so we got it all together what a cool game Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Save that one. I don't think a lot of people would have took the trouble to put that all back together, put the sign back on it. It's not in uh, mint condition or anything, but works great. I think would actually still earn money on location, depending on the location. Cool. Rebuilt both of the monitors. Both nice and bright. Okay, so I don't have, I'm the only one here tonight. Um, but let me show you how the two-player thing, the head-to-head -head works. It's raining again. Well, it's been raining a lot lately. So if we start over here, and then we start over here. Right? Please press any button if all players are ready. Okay, uh... Play against the other screen. Select your team. So I'm going to be Charlotte. 
because we're in Charlotte. And then we're going to play against those Atlanta. So you can actually do four on four like this too. I mean two on two like this. Okay, so this is me. All right, so let me uh, let me turn off the lights, set the tripod up, and we'll play a one-player game. But uh, you can see they're, they're effectively linked in the same cabinet, which is a game changer, people. It's a game changer. All right, folks, we're going to play it a little bit. It shows you a couple little instructional things while it's going through the attract mode. Like alley-oop, look at this, this is the coolest part of the whole game. Press both A and B simultaneously. When you're selected, pass recipient, I guess, is near the goal. So if you hit A and B, when they're near the goal, you can hit them with the alley-oop. Okay, so we're going to try to play it a little bit. Now I'm not very good at it. First round. Houston. Let's be Cleveland. <laughs> Plays at the Cleveland home court. The other side is playing a track music because they're trying to get somebody to play on that side. Okay. So let me figure out what I'm doing here. A's the shoot. Okay. You see what they're doing to me? B's pass. <laughs> it's going to take me a minute to get the hang of it. Pulled it off. <laughs> so cool. It'll never get old. I was just inside the line. I should have, I, I should have swapped over to that guy. <laughs> ah, it's so fun! You can't, you can't go for that over and over again.
He embarrassed me. Oh, <laughs> almost at it. I was getting too cute, cute with it. <laughs> you get too many people in there, you, you can't do it. You can't go in and do anything crazy. <laughs> oh man, so great. Damn, come on now. <laughs> I can't remember if you can change the dunks depending on depending on what you hit. Yeah. <laughs> Got dealt with. <laughs> Come on. They're starting to stunt on me. I, can't, I, I keep hitting that. That one, but I think there's more. From long range, makes the three. Let's see that play again. Let's get back to the game. That's the way to go, Cleveland. A little far back. Ah, oh, come on. Very cool. Man, what a game. <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> awesome. So cool. I'm just saying, I'm not saying it's better than NBA Jam. I'm just saying, if, if, if you never played it, it has its merits. That's way too far back. Oh, I thought I had it. I was already halfway down the court.
Think about it though, folks. Think how smooth it all is. From way back then, man, they were they could make this this smooth. I don't even know who I'm supposed to be on. Just so smooth from a game for a game from the nineties. Stole it from him. Mm. Oh, I was right there. I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. Free play, people. All I got to do is hit the button. It's all free play. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, we're ridiculous. Come on now. Oh, I needed that. I steal it again. because I'm always pushing the joystick towards the basket it keeps doing the same dunk but I think there's more of them I'm gonna, I'll try messing around with it let's see if I can all right okay I was able to do a fade away but Oh, come on now. We need to slow it down, folks. We need to slow it down so I can win this game. Mm. Oh, come on. Come on! Oh, 
Oh, come on! Come on! That's what happens when you try to run the clock out, folks. You can't do it. All right. Let's see how long the, the overtime is. Four minutes. What a play! He's on fire! Underneath! Back to the move! Oh, it's going to be Oh, look at this! Deal with it! <laughs> One point's gonna kill it, all of us. Too far out. Too far out. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, come on. Close, folks. What a cool game. Wow. What a great game. Love it. So anyway, very underrated game. A lot of people don't remember it. Part one is also uh, really fun. So, uh, they released it for the Super Nintendo too, but it wasn't called Run and Gun. It was called, uh, something like I shoot and run and shoot or so like something like, that. I don't know. But uh, just a great game. If you get a chance to play it, play it. But if, you, if you've already played it back in the day, you know all about it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below. Let us know your memories playing it. Give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you. We didn't have to do that, but we wanted to show off this awesome game. If, you, uh, if you'd like to support our channel, there's a link down below to Amazon. If you're going to buy anything on Amazon, use our link, and it gives us 3% of whatever you buy. Free money from me. We appreciate it, folks. We'll see you on the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Konami.